Hey Transformers fans, how are you? Welcome back and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Studio Series Starscream Voyager class um, and I know that uh, I'm a little late to the party on this guy but uh, I mean I'm sure you're familiar with the reviews so far that have been uh, you know nothing but amazing uh, you know everybody loves them the deco the scale you know, the transformation is fun, um, and uh, I'm certainly going to echo a lot of those statements, so I don't think this will be a, a, a terribly long review. However, um, since he is so great, I really did kind of want to put in my two cents and just say that uh, I'm extremely happy with this this figure. Um, you know, everything from the, the look and the, the styling and the transformation, you know, the accessory that he comes with, um, everything about him is just sort of the star scream that um, I think a lot of collectors have been have been waiting for, um, uh, for movie star screen. So, uh, let's take a look quickly at the, uh, new studio series packaging, which is a lot like the previous, um, couple of lines that we've seen in terms of the red and the black, you know, nice picture of star screen on the front there with his, um, sort of missile launcher claw weapon. Another picture of star screen's head studio series, number six Voyager class on the back. You can see, uh, alt mode and robot mode displayed as well as three of his, um, first, uh, first, series, uh, studio series, um, wave mates. We've got Bumblebee, Stinger, and the other Voyager, which is Optimus. And then their backdrop. I'm not going to get too much in, into that. Um, it is kind of cool if you want to display them with it, but it takes up a lot of shelf space for me. So I'm probably just going to keep it in the box. Yeah. So that's packaging. He does come with the standard, um, instruction manual, you know, the flip out uh, instruction manual. So there's not really a lot to say there. And for anybody that has the, uh, current or the uh, the Dark of the Moon Deluxe um, Seeker mold, um, whether it be Starscream or the Thundercracker or the Skywarp that they came out with, this uh, is going to be extremely familiar because it shares almost exactly the same mold with some minor differences, but the transformation is identical um, and the look and feel is pretty much the same. Uh, but as you can see, lots of nice paint apps on Starscream here to make him look very movie one accurate. And that's just uh, another thing to call it is that he doesn't have the tattoos that he did in Revenge of the Fallen um, or in Dark of the Moon. So uh, if that's your style, then this might not be the, the star screen for you. But for movie one, this looks great. Uh, you know, lots of nice um, faded, you know, or gra gradient paint apps all over them. Um, you know, they actually added some, some metallic paint to things like the hinges and some other accents on his face, on his mouth. His head sculpt is really nice. You can kind of zoom in there. You can see nice bright red eyes. And that's the thing about this particular figure is they didn't go crazy with the deco, um, you know, adding too much stuff to it. Um, so I like that. I like the, f you know, the, f the effort that they put in to keep it moving accurate. As you can see, he's got his, um, sort of missile launcher claw accessory, um, which is a vast improvement versus the mech tech weapons we had, um, you know, which basically used up a lot of plastic and a lot of resources that could have been better spent on improving the deco or improving the other aspects of the figure. So I'm glad they went with something simple uh, for a weapon with this guy and movie accurate. Um, again, share some of the nice paint. Um, the tips of it are kind of that flexible plastic, so obviously so you don't poke your eye out. Um, but these ones aren't, so yeah, whatever. But yeah, it's a nice looking weapon. Um, you know, definitely reflects what he had in the movie. Five millimeter peg on it, so you can put it in a lot of different places on either one of his forearms. He does have storage on his back in three places, so you can put it there. Or, kind of a cool little gimmick, is you can fold up his hand. And then there's two little slots, pegs, pegs on this side, slots on this side, and you can actually tuck it into the end of his arm, so that it looks like it, you know, sort of transforms out of his arm. Um, but his articulation kind of makes it um, a little bit awkward to pose, um, simply because he doesn't have um, a bend uh, here where it goes this way it goes this way but not so you can't see his hand which is you know I prefer not to be able to see his hand but you know honestly that's kind of a minor nitpick but yeah most of the time I just keep it um, on his forearm I think that looks better you know it's a just a cool weapon and gives him a hand still yeah um, so in terms of uh, scale, before I get into the transformation, I just want to show you how he scales with a bunch of the other um, movie class figures or movie style figures that I've got. First off, uh, I'm going to put him next to the other Studio Series figure that I got, which is Deluxe Ratchet. As you can see, he's, you know, significantly bigger, um, you know, scales well 
with the deluxe classes, which I um, believe is sort of the intent of this line, is that all of the different figures of all the different scales are intended to scale properly, which this one certainly does. So I like the look of that. Bringing in uh, Decepticon from the previous line, which is pretty much the same scale as the new um, Crowbar, but this is Berserker. As you can see, he looks pretty good. Next to Starscream. And then I've got Deluxe Barricade from last night, which is one of my favorite barricade molds. Megatron, again, one of my favorite Megatron molds. I really like that guy. He scales well. So those are sort of the Decepticon. Oh, I also have, uh, I also have Dark of the Moon Shockwave. So I think all three of those guys are all uh, five. Five of those Decepticons, movie Decepticons, look really, really nice together. I like the scale. Um, I like the decos on them. Really nice. And just for one last comparison, because why not? Let's put them next to my heavily customized um, Voyager class prime from the last night. And this has, you know, my obviously my own paint, silver paint, a lot, uh, all in a lot of places on it, and also has the uh, the repro label set, um, which you know, if you have not picked up the repro label set for your Voyager last night prime, I highly recommend you get it because it looks amazing. But yeah, so I like this Starscream scale with these guys. It looks pretty good. I mean, given the size of the alt mode that he has, it stands to reason that he would be this big. So I like it. Now, transformation. Again, uh, I'm going to run through it pretty quickly because if anybody's transformed or seen a review of the Dark of the Moon uh, Deluxe Starscream, then it's pretty much exactly the same. Um, so you start off, you kind of just fold up his hands, and there's little pegs that they uh, clip onto on his forearms, fold those in, just to get them out of the way. Next, you're going to want to uh, do his, um, I guess, pop his backpack off. And then uh, kind of pull these wings a little bit out of, just pop these out, slide these out of place, so that you've got a little bit more clearance to, oh, Forgot to mention, um, yeah, and this is a good example here. So, <laughs> uh, in order to fill in the chest gaps that he had on the Dark of the Moon, they kind of added these um, little accessories, um, and they peg into, there's a little slot and a little peg that they peg in together to keep his chest more secure, so you just gotta remember to flip those down before you slide the wings out. Um, mine is very, very loose and it just pops off, but fortunately it will just pop back on and it's, it's okay. So, you just sort of fold those in Get them out of the way. Pop open his crotch piece. Flip that back. And then the whole kind of head assembly kind of double hinges down and then you can close that. And then that opens up the ability to get his arms tucked away. So you want to turn these about 90 degrees, fold them up, and then they rotate in on this extra hinge in here so that they're nice and compact like that. And then these just fold or kind of pivot into the body. Now, one thing that's different from the Dark of the Moon is there's a lot more tabs to keep things securely in place on the Voyager class. Um, so there's a little tab there, you can see, and then there's a slot right in there that each of those tabs will fit into. So you just kind of have to position it properly and then give it a little push with your thumb and everything kind of locks in much more securely than the... Uh, than the dark, the, the, the deluxe one did. And then again, um, there's another tab. You can see there's a slot in the back of his hand, and there's a tab on the inside there, and those things fit in together, and everything just kind of tucks in nicely. And then just close that, just don't need that anymore, and then fold up the front piece, and everything kind of clips in nicely. So there's the front half of Starscream, all done. Um, now you can fold these bits down, Keep them out of the way and we'll come to his legs. Legs are very, very easy. Just kind of straighten them out a little bit at the bottom and then they fold up just like that. Again, another tab, keep it solid, goes in there. And then the legs, just point his toes down like that. Um, I usually put his wheels down just because most of the time if I'm gonna have them um, on display, I'll uh, have all of his wheels out. So flip those down at this time. And then again, there's another tab here a little or a slot there, a little tab here. Fit that guy in there. Once again, it's a nice solid 
the connection. It kind of keeps his legs all together. And then this is on, again, a double hinge. And it just, oh, this is, this is always a little bit tricky. There we go. Double hinge, folds down. And then there's <laughs> tabs again. So there's a little tab under there on each side that tucks into the back of his leg. So just make sure that those are kind of pushed in like that. And then fold up his tail fins so that they're out of the way. And then these just kind of pivot back into position. And then you push them down just like you do on the Dark of the Moon Deluxe. And then just kind of make sure that the, the tabs in his flaps all kind of line up. And then there you have Voyager class Studio Series Starscream in his alt mode, which looks awesome. Uh, like I said, I really like the deco, um, you know, the, the fade and the gradient um, of the two grays looks really, really nice. Um, I love the fact that they did not only the USAF um, logo on it, but also the Decepticon Air Force logo on it. Those two uh, badges look really, really nice. Uh, and then the bottom, I mean, yeah, you see some robot, um, but overall, uh, compared to some of the other Starscream uh, molds, it's very, very clean. Um, I really like it a lot. Obviously, the landing gear flips up, you know, tucks in nice and nice and neat there. And then you've got um, a whole bunch of different places, you know, peg there, peg there, peg there, peg there, that you can do his, um, his weapon. So I usually just kind of throw it on under the wing there. And then it looks like some underwing armament, and it looks pretty cool, so... Yeah, so overall, um, that's uh, kind of my take on Studio Series Starscream. Um, well worth the uh, uh, the money to get this guy. Um, he is an awesome version of Starscream. Probably uh, the most well-rounded Starscream we've we've got out of any of the molds. I know a lot of people are still a, a big fan of the leader mold um, in terms of like its size and transformation and all that stuff. But um, if you're looking for one Starscream, one movie Starscream to get right now, this is the one. There's no question. So, um, highly recommended. Um, you know, great addition to any movie collection. Uh, I would recommend it. Um, yeah. So that's my look at uh, Studio Series Starscream. Uh, hope you guys. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Um, check back again for more reviews coming soon. Um, again, yeah. Thanks very much, and uh, we'll talk to you later.